from the small town of Saltus, the four adventurers have reached the old mill. Here they made an important discovery. The old path to reach the dark cathedral will have to overcome the ruins of the Torgair archway. Once they reach the cathedral, they will have to find the path that through the foundation of the earth itself will lead them into the silent tomb. Dear fellow of crafters, I write these lines because uh, this is the only way to save my soul. I never imagined that designing a place like the silent tomb would lead me to this. The evil took possession of those places. The terror lives in those tombs of which I, as the am, I am the architect. The tomb is cursed. Getting to the heart of the labyrinth is almost impossible, and all those who have tried there have never returned. They are dead? <laughs> Destiny was not so merciful. It all started with the construction of the narrow hallway of lost souls. Hello my friends, let's start by saying that in this hobby it is often possible to recover material even from uh, old pieces that you craft before. Here you can see how, starting from some old fortification walls, I managed to recover some games workshop pieces, some fragments of brick patterns and, above all, fresh foam. In the grip of a strange vision of a deadly corridor, I started taking measurements to create three tiles. They must create a hallway with a grid of 2 inches by 9 inches. At the same time, I needed margins for attaching pillars and statues, so I left 3 8 of an inch on each side.
I created the texture for the floor and then dedicated myself to the pillars. I completed each pillar with a tile on the top and a large screw to increase its weight on the bottom. These pillars had to be high enough for the statues that I cloned myself. The cloning of small details to embellish my work is a new aspect that I find very funny. Here you can see how I created a resin replica for the statues I added. You can find a complete tutorial on this technique in my episode number 58. When I use this technique I always prepare an extra mold with some extra pieces to clone to avoid wasting the resin. Remember, this channel is sponsored by you. There are several ways to support this channel. First of all, like this video, subscribe and share this channel with your friends. In the description box below you can find some uh, Amazon links. Those are uh, affiliate links by Amazon. No special stuff, guys. Just if you buy through those links you will help this channel grow and do better and better. The best way to support this channel is through Patreon. Follow the links in the description box below. If you think that my videos are entertaining and somehow useful or inspiring, please consider to subscribe on Patreon. Another way to support this channel is through PayPal. If you are not in this monthly stuff, you can support me with a little donation. There is a direct link in the description box below. Thank you for your attention. In about 10 minutes my statue is ready. It's a kind of magic! At this point, the structural part of the corridor is complete. But something told me that it was not enough. I could have, I should have stopped. 
the satanic voice that took possession of these places forced me to create deadly machines. I feel that preventing all this would be very too dangerous for my life. I must continue. May God forgive my soul. I took long square section sticks and balsa wood, I cut it all to a length of uh, 4 inches so that it could be supported by the pillars. Using the cut mat as a guide, I glued the pieces that will be the rails of our trap. I cut four more pieces of wood to the length of two inches and I assembled the two supports with the help of some plastic cylinders, as you can see here. I then created a template with some chipboard for the blades by freehand. I used the template on two very thin pieces of foam and uh, cut it all out. To give a more interesting look to the blades, I used some emblems of the green skins. This has also strengthened the blades. I then assembled everything directly onto the rails, as you can see here. I completed my trap with a curious rat on the top of one of the main supports.
The silence that now pervades my studio is unbearable. I know that if I go ahead, of me there will be nothing left but ashes. Yet I can't stop. Something is watching me. I'm not alone. These words are a warning to you. The contagion of the silent tomb passes through the next steps. Save yourself while you are on time. I have completed my statues with some details to give a more interesting look. covered all the pieces with Mod Podge and acrylic black paint, a very watery solution. The coloring of these corridors is very simple and you can find a complete explanation of my technique in my tutorial number one. the toothbrush technique for blood splashing on the walls and the pools of blood on the floor. For how to create a slaughtered body, check out my tutorial number 66. Something is calling me. Demons are at my door. <laughs> <laughs> 